the involvement of the Orthodox churches in the World Council of Churches and other ecumenical bodies has been and continues to be a matter of no little debate among Orthodox Christians. The discussion often takes, a, takes on a rather harsh and polemical quality. Sometimes it's unclear to the Orthodox what ecumenism even is. You might be having that same discussion amongst yourselves. Three basic perceptions emerge in these discussions. First, is it a heresy? Is it heretical for us to participate in these things? Well, ecumenism is not a heresy, or at least ecumenism that is derided as heresy in some orthodox opinion, and that ecumenism which is actually practiced by some orthodox are in fact two separate things whatsoever. If one looks at the anathemas, you know what that means? That's a condemnation, a Greek word meaning a condemnation, um, by which a person can be expelled from the church. If one looks at these anathemas, which have been written about ecumenism, it's clear that what is being anathematized is the so-called branch theory, something which orthodox do not hold whatsoever. We'll come back to that in a few moments. Secondly, Orthodox involvement in ecumenism is viewed, and this might resonate with you, as a missionary activity. Father Stanley Herakas, one of my professors at Holy Cross, in his book, The Living Truth, The Praxis of Orthodox Christian Ethics, writes, and I quote now, Orthodox involvement in the ecumenical movement consists primarily of dialogue, discussion, and the sharing of views and positions. The main purpose which the Orthodox have in entering into the dialogues is to communicate the truth of the Orthodox Christian faith to those who are unaware of it. At the same time, there is no question that Orthodox Christians and hierarchs have learned much in their contacts with Christians of other churches. That's not to say that they're there to convert people. That's up to the person's individual response to God. But they're there to make their position and their faith known.